In this video, you'll learn how to easily bring your V-Ray scenes to life with animated cameras, realistic crowds, and much more in a fraction of the time of traditional workflows. CAD platforms like SketchUp, Rhino, and Revit lack support for advanced animation features. With Envision, you can now animate your V-Ray scenes with crowds, traffic, and lighting in real time. This is the desert house scene we'll be working with. We will straight away export the V-Ray scene file via the extensions, V-Ray rendering menu. Once that's done, we can open the V-Ray scene directly into Envision. It'll bring in the render view, lights, and all the scene data. I'll start by switching off the lights and hiding their gizmos to declutter the viewport a bit. Then I'll enable the sunlight and clouds, which will match the ones we had back in SketchUp. Let's adjust the camera angle a bit and create a new camera from this view. Now we can tweak some of its color correction settings things like Filmic and Bloom, to enhance the visual tone. To start adding detail, we'll create a scatter object, select the desert surface, um, confirm the selection, and call this layer Trees. I'll choose some trees next. I'll filter by animated assets, and pick from the local ones I've already downloaded. This particular tree fits nicely with the desert theme. And then I'll create another layer called bushes and add an animated bush to it. We can also use a surface preset that combines grasses and stones, a quick way to get some texture variety. Once the wind setting is enabled, you'll see the trees and bushes gently moving, adding realism to the environment. Now, let's bring in an animated character to breathe more life into the scene. I'll add this 4D person. They have great animation and visuals, and I think they'll contribute nicely to the story. Another way to add narrative is by placing an anima crowd system along a path. I'll create the path that the anima object prompts me to do. Once the path is created, we can immediately generate the crowd simulation. Adding people is not only about realism, it is about bringing your scenes to life and telling a compelling story to your client. By default, it adds five characters. I'll reduce that number to two and remove a few that aren't suitable for this climate, like ones that are fully dressed in winter clothes. Often, the randomly generated characters work quite well. For example, the guy with the backpack heading towards the house looks great. However, we can always replace them from Cosmos if we find someone more suitable for our story. Now I'll hide the spline and begin animating the camera to introduce some motion around the house and help drive the story. I'll set both the start and end frames for the camera movement. Next, I'll turn on depth of field and play with the aperture and focal distance to get the cinematic look just right. As we slide along the timeline, we can see the camera path come to life. Let's move on to animating the environment conditions. I'll start by creating the initial environment setup. I'll lower the cloud layer slightly adjusting its altitude and density as needed. We'll save this setup as our starting point. Then I'll build the end environment condition. This will feature a denser, more overcast sky. I'll shift the cloud position by around one kilometer and add some fog into the scene. We can tweak the fog settings until we get the look we want. I'll also apply fog to the starting condition, but using lighter settings so it's more subtle. Naturally, I'll enable wind for both environments. With those set, I can drop them onto the timeline and adjust their interpolation and transition timing. We'll customize the duration of the transition so the environment shifts smoothly from the starting setup to the ending one. Another detail to animate is the sun position, which is also part of the environmental settings. It can really help enhance realism across the transition. We can also animate scene variations. Let's start with an open house setup. I'll select various elements of the house and move them upward to simulate a building animation. 
roof sections, and ceiling elements will lift above the structure, while columns will rise from below, giving the effect that the house is emerging from the ground. Once the open variation is set, we'll save it. Then, I'll create a closed variation from our general variation. Both variations can be added to the timeline and we'll define the interpolation and transition settings to blend between them. We'll also reorder the objects for a more artistic animation flow. Thankfully, there are presets available that help orchestrate that in a visually pleasing way. Let's drop in the soundtrack for our short cinematic. It's simple. Just choose a WAV file and position it, then cut it as needed. Once everything looks good, we're ready to render the final sequence. There are a few options we can adjust, like increasing render settings for quality. We'll set the output folder and choose the file type for export. MP4, PNG sequence, and other formats are supported. We can also export additional render channels for post-production work later. And now, we hit render. With Envision, your V-Ray scenes don't have to stay static. Click the link in the description to try the V-Ray plus Envision workflow today.